Against the background of the escalating battlefield in Ukraine, the Biden administration of the United States suddenly announced assistance to Ukraine with cluster munitions and asked French President Macron to hand over long-range cruise missiles to Ukraine. This move has aroused speculation and worries in public opinion, especially the question of whether the United States will directly send troops to the war. We believe that the United States, as a global superpower, cannot accept the result of the victory of the Russian army in Ukraine. This will not only affect the interests and influence of the United States in Europe, but may also damage the credibility of the United States in the international community. Therefore, the United States is likely to use strategic means flexibly and continue to support Ukraine, but it will not directly send troops to participate in the war. In past analysis, we have repeatedly emphasized that the escalation of U.S. aid to Ukraine is a test and trial. The weapons of aid are gradually progressive, so that it can not only consume Russia's military power, but also stimulate the demand in the European arms market, thereby increasing the influence of the United States. In this way, the United States can indirectly enhance its presence and military strength in Europe while satisfying the interests of Western capitalists. Under the current circumstances, the United States will not choose to fight directly with the Russian army, because doing so will not only put the U.S. military under tremendous pressure, but may also trigger global turmoil and even lead to World War III. Deep Consideration of U.S. Aid to Ukraine 1 U.S. geopolitical interests as a global superpower, the United States has a wide range of geopolitical interests. Ukraine is located in Eastern Europe, and its geographical location is very important which is of great significance to the strategic layout of the United States in Europe. By aiding Ukraine, the United States can further consolidate its geopolitical interests in Europe. 2. U.S. containment of Russia-Ukraine shares a border with Russia, and the two countries have complicated historical and ethnic entanglements. By aiding Ukraine, the United States can curb the expansion of Russia's power and maintain its hegemony in Europe. If the Russian army wins in Ukraine, it will endanger the interests of the United States in the world. 3. The display of U.S. military strength The United States is one of the most powerful military countries in the world, with advanced weapons and equipment and an elite army. By providing military assistance to Ukraine, the United States can demonstrate its military strength and show the world its status and strength as a superpower. Predict why the United States will not directly send troops to the war one. War risks and costs the Ukrainian battlefield has been upgraded to a confrontation between the old and the new era. If the United States chooses to directly send troops to participate in the war, it will face huge war risks and costs. Ukraine and Russia are both nuclear-armed countries. Once a war breaks out, it may escalate into a nuclear war, posing a great threat to global security. 2. Pressure from international public opinion Once the United States directly sends troops to participate in the war, it will face condemnation from international public opinion. At present, the international community generally calls for peaceful dialogue to resolve the Ukrainian issue. Therefore, the U.S. deployment of troops may arouse dissatisfaction and criticism from the international community and damage the reputation and image of the United States in the international arena. 3. Uncertainty over Russia's response While the United States is aiding Ukraine with weapons, it must also consider Russia's response. If the U.S. military directly intervenes in the Ukrainian battlefield, Russia may take more extreme actions, causing the situation to get out of control. This is not in the interests of the United States, so the United States needs to weigh various factors and formulate the most sensible strategic choice. Thinking in summary through the analysis of the situation in Ukraine and the U.S. aid actions, we can see that although the U.S. pays close attention to the Ukrainian conflict, it is not inclined to directly send troops to participate in the war. This is in line with the national interests and overall strategic considerations of the United States, as well as the need to stabilize the international situation and maintain global order. Of course, the dynamics of the Ukrainian battlefield are still unpredictable, and the actions and decisions of all parties will also be affected by multiple factors.
Therefore, we need to continue to pay attention to the development of the situation in Ukraine and conduct in-depth analysis and research to better understand the complexity and uncertainty. In this context, the international community should strengthen dialogue and cooperation and strive to resolve the conflict between Russia and Ukraine through peaceful means.